Hey folks, uh, I saw some questions uh, over the last few days uh, on the Discord about doing stuff with Metaverse. And the first one I'd like to maybe uh, make sure that people were following along with uh, today just by showing you what it looks like in in the browser is the this question of how does someone else edit an experience that you've been working on? And there's a few things in Metaverse that allow you to do this. Um, the first place I'd like to show you is up in this uh, Publish button. So when you publish your experience, here I'm inside the, the Metaverse editor working on an experience. And if I publish that by tapping that there, and then I go into Advanced, then there is this information here, allow cloning or don't allow cloning. So if you want someone to be able to take your experience as, a, as an author and be able to start from a working experience and then you know, either release it however they want or use that as a basis for making something else, you would make sure to allow cloning here when you publish. Um, and so that's, that's one step. And then when you do publish, as you can see, it gives me these two things here. It gives me the share link um, now, in this case, uh, I have my thing set up to be using GPS, and so it's it's part of a group thing, and so there's no direct URL for it. But um, to access the experience as a creator in the studio, that's this URL here at the bottom. Uh, maybe if I highlight it, it'll show up a little bit better. And so you could give another creator that URL, and they would have the choice of editing um, a version of this, but they wouldn't be editing yours, if that makes sense. You would keep your copy, copy and they would clone it and, and create one of their own. Um, as far as actually having multiple people work on the same experience, um, I don't think there's a way to do that um, other than creating a separate login that would say be shared across people. Uh, I, before leaving, though, I did want to show you where this uh, that this share button also gives you the link. You don't have to go through the whole rigmarole of publishing each time. And there's the URL that we're looking for. Um, if you want to change the settings, though, you do need to go through the publishing step. So that's the first question, and uh, I'll, I'll move on to some of the others folks had. I think it got answered pretty well in the Discord, and people had lots of good suggestions, um, but just in case it would help. Uh, sh showing it, I thought I would make this quick video for you all.